Okay, I'm doing this for my own personal knowledge, and I'm going to put the video up on for viewers if they want to see the difference between a 12-inch Dobsonian telescope and a 127-millimeter Orion Apex. This is almost like a regular spotting scope. And I'm doing this because I'm amazed at some of the clarity I get out of this little scope. Of course, I don't get the light gathering capabilities of that giant light bucket over there, but this thing setting on a camera tripod, this is my Davis and Sanford FM 18-2 fluid head. This thing is a wicked tripod, very sturdy. So I'm going to hook a Sony A7S and I'll be using a 9mm and prime to each of these. So we'll see what uh, happens. If anybody's curious, this is an Aperture 12 inch, kind of a more of the basic 12 inch telescope with not a lot of goodies on it, but that doesn't matter. It performs just as good as the top of the line 12 inch. As long as you uh, do some minor upgrades with magnets, this thing is performs just like the others. So we'll get rolling. We're going to have the moon coming up and Jupiter and Saturn, and then we'll be the three main objects we'll be comparing it to, and we'll see what happens. Okay, here's Jupiter with a 9 millimeter in with the Orion Apex and I think that's about as good as I can get it. I'm trying my hardest to focus it and it's hard. But we'll look at it. We'll do a few different sessions of them. But that is Jupiter with a 9 millimeter and that is coming out quite well. I'm surprised. But my ISO is 3200 and 1 20th second shutter speed. That's about it. 9 millimeter, 3200 ISO, 1 20th second shutter speed. Of course, I got uh, dust on the lens. And the moon's coming up, so. All right, right here's Jupiter, 1 30th second shutter speed, 3200 ISO, the 12 inch telescope with a 9 millimeter. This is the 12 inch with a 9 millimeter. ISO of 3200, 1 30th second shutter speed. Here we are again, 9 millimeter in the 12 inch telescope. ISO 3200, 1 30th second shutter speed. Here comes Saturn, 1 20th second shutter speed, 40,000 ISO. Forty thousand ISO, one twentieth Orion Apex, nine millimeter. The normal camera, you're probably not gonna do too well of using this Apex. It's a lot of IS, ISO, forty thousand. I let's try to focus it better. All right, there we are. 120 or 20th, 120 120th second shutter speed, 40,000 ISO, Orion Apex, Saturn. Right there is Saturn, 130th second shutter speed, ISO of 3200, 12 inch scope. That's with the 9 millimeter. Let's get it centered. ISO 3200, 1 30th second shutter speed, 9 millimeter, 12 inch scope. So that uh, takes care of the two planets, and we'll wait for the moon to come up a little more, and we're going to hit that. Okay, right here is the moon with a 9 millimeter and a 12 inch scope. ISO is 1600. Just panning around for details. It's pretty good. All right, here's the 9mm of the Ryan Apex. 
125th second shutter speed, ISO of 2500. It's not too shabby. Boy, there's a lot of moisture in the air causing that to move. Let me pan over. Ryan Apex. Nine millimeter. Now we're going to go into Prime. And right here is the Ryan Apex and Prime. At the moon, we are going to zoom in and see what we can see for details. 130th second shutter speed, ISO of 200. And here is the 12 inch scope with the moon, ISO of 100 and 1 160th second shutter speed. We'll zoom in through here. I'm not going to know which one did actually better than the other one till I make the video, so we'll see. So there you go, comparing 127mm Orion Apex to a 12-inch uh, Sonian.